In this video, I'll show you how to combine some chord properties and the Pythagorean theorem to find some unknown lengths in a circle. Okay, so this question asked us to find two different missing measurements. Uh, what we know is O to E is 6. I'll label that right away. We know that AB is 18. And we're supposed to find O to D, so that's here, I'll call that X and then C to D. Let's call that Y. Okay. So if we start here, we've got marked that OE is the same like this OF. So I'll write that on there right away. And actually one of these questions is really easy to answer because we have a property that tells us if chords like AB and CD are equidistant from the center, for example, if they're six away from the center, then they're the same length. So that means we know that AB and CD are equidistant from the center, so they're the same length, and we know how long AB is because we're told, so CD is the same length. So let's just make a note about why. AB and CD equidistant from center. Therefore, AB equals CD, and they're both equal to 18. CD equals 18. Okay, now the other one we have to find is this length OD here. It's worth noting that that's a radius. Okay. So we know that y is equal to 18. We have another chord property that tells us if we've got a chord and there's a line that comes from the center of the circle, passes through the center, and is perpendicular to that chord, then it bisects the chord. So that means that these two things here are equal. For the same reason these are equal, although we're not actually going to need that. Okay, so if these are both equal, that means they're both 9, because they're half of 18. And so that's actually the key thing there, because now in this triangle we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the length of x. In triangle ODF, um, we've got the OD squared equals DF squared plus OF squared. Now I'll substitute what we know. OD, we don't know how long that is, that's what we're looking for though, so that's x. DF squared is 9 squared, and OF squared is 6 squared. So we have the x squared equals 81 plus 36. x squared equals 117. And so we'll take the square root of both sides. We have the x equals root 117. And some questions might ask us for a decimal approximation, but in this case I'm going to go for a simplified radical. So if I look at what factors of 117 are perfect squares, um, if I add up the digits, I, 1 plus 1 plus 7 equals 9, so that tells me that uh, 9 is a factor of this. So root 117 is equal to root 9. And if I throw 117 divided by 9 in my calculator, I get 13. So it's root 9, root 13. And then I can rewrite my root 9 as 3. So this x, that was OD, so this tells us that OD is equal to 3 root 13. Okay, so we're done. Here were the key parts of that that question. So we had to remember the chord properties. First thing, chords that are equidistant from the center are the same length. So boom, right away, without doing anything really, we could tell that CD was 18, just because AD was, AB was. And then 
we didn't have to construct any lines in this. Uh, we didn't have to draw any, in any radii. We just had to remember another chord theorem that says because uh, OF is perpendicular to DC and it passes through the center, it bisects DC. Um, so then we had our 9 here, we had our 6 because it was just the same as, as OE, and then we did Pythagorean theorem on that triangle. Okay, good luck with it.